Hello everyone. In this video, what I want to do is show you how to add a custom domain name to your Azure Active Directory and uh, how to really go to your actual DNS host uh, or DNS provider and register your domain. So I have Azure subscription. So as soon as we do that, we come up with a default directory, right? And this uh, default directory would look something crazy like domain azlabs2021 outlook.on microsoft.com so any new user or something say so like over users if you want to create a new user what will happen so if you create a new user uh, so it will you will see that the domain extension would be like this crazy big one and it's really the email address that you have used and then dot on microsoft.com and anything that you have like uh, at symbol is gone so really i use the email address azlabs2021 at outlook.com to create this account all right so what you really want to do once you have this you want to add a custom domain name so again let me show you how to get there so azure Active Directory, just search over here in the search bar, get to the Active Directory on the left hand side, just look for the custom domain name. Okay, from the domain name, you see you have only one available, you have nothing that's custom, so you can say custom domain name and uh, ankanbashu.com. So that's my, my own domain name that I own myself. So now if you add it, okay, now here what you have. The use ankanbashi.com with your Azure AD, create a new text record with your domain name registrar with the with the, with the info below. So either you can use a text record or you can provide an MX record either way. Uh, and uh, here there are multiple ways. So let's start with this uh, TXT record. Here you're saying share this settings via email. I don't know what that is. So let's just click on it, say if that did anything so I didn't do anything so what we want to do we're gonna stick oh here <laughs> so it's actually trying to create an email and uh, I can send that email to the domain provider or the domain admin to update these pointers for us okay so that's pretty cool I don't need that so what I, what I want to do uh, I am going to log in to my uh, one and one account where I have the domain you may have a different uh, DNS provider so I'm just going to go in and uh, log into my uh, DNS from there I'm going to go to my particular account where I want to add this because I added ankanbashu.com so this is my domain that I own and it's active domain so all you need to do from here go to your DNS okay and over here you know that you have a whole bunch of different things where you can add uh, uh, a type of record so here if you click on this okay here is the MX record that if you want to add and here's the text txt record that you can add so if you click on the txt let's see if that's what they're asking alias or hostname is at so let's see at just to just need to do at and value is uh, ttl3600 i'm just going to match up ttl is okay what is 3300 a preview is 333600 let's come back over here 3600 is good so destination or pointers to address so let's copy this one and i think all i need to do is put over here is that value okay and uh, preview this MS and let's save this one okay now it says the txt record has been successfully created so let's test out over here it may take some time okay to for everything to be completely verified uh, so here my god so it's now it says this verification is succeeded so look at that how quickly and how instantly you can verify your domain name so now if i go back over here now this domain name markanbasu.com is now available to me you know what's going to happen now so if i go to my users and if i try to create a new user okay 
say I say my hero okay and then I no longer have to use this crazy default uh, uh, domain name I can just use my own okay so my hero first name is Ankan no I don't, I shouldn't do that okay just not my hero name Ankan Bashu and just uh, put Ankan and Bashu in there yeah, and just call it Ebasu for that okay um, auto generate password and let me create pass auto generate is good so password copy that one uh, I really don't need that so let me create password we, it doesn't matter you just use whatever you want and then uh, you can create a user account and look at that so this guy is now is part of the Azure Active Directory this Ankan Basu, he got the username abasu at ankanbashu.com. So that's how simple it is. So the other thing I wanted to show you, uh, for the verification, we could have also used the MX record. So instead of using, we used the TXT record, so, right? So we could have used and generated another MX record uh, to update and then verify that we really own that domain. So that's all for the video. Hope you have a good understanding now. A lot of time I have seen videos where they will come over here, they will add a new uh, website, but they, they will never do the next step because a lot of people, they don't really own any domain. So then they don't give you the complete picture. So there we go. And here, yeah, what you can do possibly uh, make that is primary. So now what's, hap what's gonna happen every single time uh, you're creating new user and stuff like that, you don't have to uh, do a drop down on it. So it will, this domain name will, will show up and you will be able to use this one. All right, everyone. So hope this was a useful video. If you like this, please give me a like and thumbs up. Subscribe, leave your comments. If you're studying for the 300 exam, I know how to do it. And understand you can either use a TXT or a mix record and that verification part, you cannot do it within Azure. You have to go to a DNS provider and do it over there and, and you gotta verify the domain before you can use it. All right, good luck with the exam. Thank you for watching.